Hi everyone and welcome to Forever Hairstyles. Today I'm going to show you how to make um, a rock-like uh, headband. I have a little iron-on that says rock on it and then I have um, a bandana that has flames on it. And wh what I normally do when I start doing um, these headbands are you fold them in half, make sure your corners to your corner are even. And then you take your iron on or whatever bling or whatever you're going to put on and you want to measure it how tall it is that determines how thick or tall your headband is. And this is not very tall, probably an inch and a half tall. So we're going to do an inch and a half. So it's a small bandana headband. Okay, so take you know your small sections and then fold them over. And keep doing that until you get to the point um, and you want to make sure you're not getting too wild every so often check your um, iron on if it's working you know I, I would check it on and then you just kind of keep doing that till you get to the end then you want to make sure it's gonna work which you will um, and then you got, if you get to the point where there's a little piece still lapping, you lap it under, you fold it under here, and then you won't have that. Now, sometimes you won't have the lap, but you do need to sew. Um, you always need to sew this end at all times. Now, you can do hand sewing or machine sewing, whatever works the best for you. I prefer machine and if you do the machine um, I put the red on top and the yellow on the bottom so because there is red and yellow in this bandana so I uh, definitely now you could do black you could do white you could do you know all red all all different colors if you want but I'm gonna do the red and the yellow just because I think it would make the design um, more interesting so forth and this is the only thing you really have to sew everything else you don't have to sew if you want to sew it you can that's totally up to you You don't have to do the straight line. I don't know. I did a straight line one. Now you can do whatever you, I mean, you can do crisscross, whatever you want. I did the straight this time. Um, a lot of times I do the crisscross, but, um, and you can go back and do the crisscross if you want, but anything, it works. I mean, you know, when you put it on, you can make it look like it's, you know, outlined and like it's supposed to be underlined and whatnot, but um, whatever works. And, um, I'll show you how to do if you wanted to do the top part sewn we'll do that here for a minute and I'm going to show you here now you don't have to do this I do it because I think it looks neat but again it depends on your taste Oops. and usually I start from the end to the beginning or to the end beginning to the end yes. because I think it makes um, it tighter but and so anyway you see one side um, is yellow and then the other side is red so pretty neat uh, neat side you know neat design so 
And then when you're done, um, then you have to determine which side you want to be up or down. Um, I guess this one I'm going to go and do because I have this part here, um, yellow, that I'm going to, oops, I'm going to put the um, rock on. So, and I, this one I probably will do kind of in the middle, but I want the words up this way. You know, I, I want the words up to this way. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so there's the bottom part here, the yellow line, and then the sewn part there. So I'm going to iron this on. Now, you can sew it after you're done iron it. I prefer uh, to hand sew it myself, which I don't show on the videos. But if you want to have it on there forever, you know, hand sewn probably is the best way. And a lot of times I'll sew it in places like I'll probably the top of the K and the top of the C and the R. And, you know, you just sew it and, and you blend it in. Now, if you're going to sew it on, um, probably black thread would be the best for that. But um, again, depending on your style, how you want to do it. Um, and so forth. Now I don't, I can't find my uh, curling iron, or not curling iron, I can't find my clothes iron where you press down, I really can't. So I've been using <laughs> um, the, uh, my, uh, uh, my uh, flat iron for my hair. So, and it does work. It does really, really work. So um, it, it's a little bit trickier than just an iron, but um, you just, you deal, I guess you deal with it. So anyway, you press on it, count five seconds, and then you move to the next section, press on it, count five seconds. And now my uh, flat iron goes up to about 410. Um, it uh, has one to 10 button, 10 being the hottest. So I'm probably doing a seven, six and a half, somewhere in there. Um, and then I press it until I feel like it might be on. So, and then you check it, whoops. And yeah, see, now that didn't work. Okay. Now I better. Yep, okay, I guess it says 20 seconds now, I guess. So we'll have to count to about 20 seconds. And anytime you're doing iron, you know, don't burn anything, obviously, but. And if you, if you're, and if you're a kid under a certain age, you always want a parent around when you do this or ask your parent if you can use an iron. <laughs> um, so yes, you always want to um, make sure you have your precautions and done this before. Okay. Hopefully that works. Some patches are different. There you go. Well, works for now. I'll have to sew it anyway. Um, and there you have that, um, you know, rock. It's really neat. You can do crosses. You can, I mean, there's so many patches. I'm just demonstrating what I do for um, headbands and make it more blingy looking and stuff like that. Um, and I definitely recommend with certain patches like this one, um, I probably will hand sew it together so it, um, stays on there a lot longer because I'll probably use it, especially if you wash these. Um, and if you're not using it for a headband, you can use it for an arm band or a leg band or even your, around your neck, whatever works. Um, but anyway, I probably will sew this together and then... Um, have it so I can have it for a while but but anyway that's one way of doing headbands and patch-ons and just you know you can use your imagination with anything I obviously used rock and had the flames I mean you could use princesses and pink and um, birthday parties whatever um, I've done some for breast cancer um, headbands and I've done um, some for weddings or I shouldn't say weddings, I should say bachelorette parties, so. And there you have it.